Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tastefully Balanced. I'm Miriam, and I'm back today with a Trader Joe's haul, your guys' favorite. I want to make sure and do these every other week just to stay consistent because I do shop a lot for groceries, and so now whenever I do, I just share everything with you guys. So I hope you guys like these hauls, even though they're a little bit smaller, but they're more frequent so that you can get an idea of what's new at Trader Joe's and Costco. And again, if you guys have other places you want me to go, just let me know in the comments. But if you guys love haul videos, please subscribe and keep watching. All right, so I have two bags worth of things. I'm just gonna go ahead and start with this one because it's kind of falling over. So the first thing on top is this Harissa salsa. So I think I've shared this salsa before with you guys, but I love having just shredded chicken and this salsa together. So what I do is I add this salsa, a little bit more liquid, maybe some chicken stock, and then I add a couple pieces of chicken breast and then put it in the Instant Pot. And it's just such an easy, easy way of making chicken. And then later you can add it to salads and maybe quesadillas, tacos, whatever, make a rice bowl out of it. But I love having this salsa. This salsa is really, really good. So definitely recommend. All right, next up, I have this eggplant with tomatoes and onion. This is something I think I've shared before with you guys. It's delicious. I love having this in the pantry because it doesn't go bad. It's a quick way of having a veggie side dish. It's really delicious. All I do is just kind of warm it up in a frying pan and have it on the side of rice. I love having it with rice, so this is good. A friend got me hooked on this and I make sure that it is always in my pantry. All right, another item that I always make sure is in my pantry is this whipping cream. So it's a shelf stable whipping cream. What you want to do is right before you're going to make the fresh whipped cream, pop this in the fridge, make sure it gets very, very cold. And then whenever you need fresh whipped cream, you just add this to your mixer, your hand held mixer. If you have one just in a bowl and then you just whip it up and then you have fresh, fresh whipped cream. So I love doing this when I have people over and then just quickly making it because you feel really fancy, but <laughs> it's really nothing special. So I love having this in the pantry as well. I have this Bamba peanut snack. Okay, so I shared this with probably my last Trader Joe's haul and we fell in love with it. It's so, so good. Has such a nice, rich peanut butter flavor, just like a puffed Cheeto, but so much better. And the ingredients are so much better. There's like one, two, three, four ingredients in this. So you don't feel as bad eating this. And for this big bag, 99 cents. So Trader Joe's coming through with this one. I love it, it's delicious. Okay, next up is something I already opened. There's one already missing in it. So this is a seltzer water. You guys know I love my seltzer water. This one is a blood orange and orange juice flavor. So if you know what Spindrift is, this is very reminiscent of that brand's uh, seltzer water. It's got a very natural kind of sweetener to it because they add the juice of the actual fruit instead of natural flavors. Uh, so this is great. The lemon ginger one I also tried, which was really good. All right, next up I've got some fire roasted yellow and red bell peppers. This is so easy to just have in the pantry, another pantry staple instead of having to roast your bell peppers on your own, which can, you know, get a little bit tiresome. I love adding this to antipastas or maybe a sandwich. My pesto chicken sandwich is delicious with this. So I love having it around and making sure that I have it in my pantry. All right, next up, I've got a bag of apples. This is a different type of apple that I've never had before. On the tart meter, it's, it's pretty down there, so it's not probably one of the sweeter ones but I like to switch it up and honestly I don't have a lot of apples most of them get eaten by my husband so this will be interesting to see how it compares to the usual I think I get the gala or the Fuji apples right, next up I've got some jerk style plantain chips so if you've seen my hauls before I always get the regular plantain chips the one in the purple bag so this is a new item it's jerk style so I was intrigued to try it and see if I like it just as much as the original ones. So I'm excited to give this one a try. 
And in fact, usually, if I'm excited about an item, I do a little taste test for you guys. Mmm. That is really, really good. It's got definitely black pepper, cumin, coriander, yep, cinnamon. So this, if you guys love the regular plantain chips, this is just a spicier version of it. It's got that jerk chicken type of flavor to it. So this is delicious. Definitely, definitely recommend. Next up, I've got the Trail Nuggets Pro Energy and Protein Bar. I like to go through the different protein bars that are healthier at Trader Joe's. This one has dates, almonds, pea protein, dried cranberries, and beet powder, water, salt, and orange oil. I have never heard of orange oil, but this doesn't have that many ingredients. Very, very reminiscent of the RX and Lara bars, so I thought I'd give this one a try. I will say it's kind of tiny compared to the other bars, but still has lots of good ingredients in it. So I will let you guys know how I like this. All right, and the last item in this bag is this Jaipur vegetables. This is something that I like to try. It's in their Indian Desi section. They have about five of these packets. I think I tried the other vegetable one. I forget what it was, but it was the only other vegetable one that they have. The other ones are kind of lentils and other ingredients or other dishes. But this one has garden vegetables and cubes of paneer cheese, spices, and cashews. I tried the other bag and really liked it. I added it to my chicken kima and it was delicious. It was an easy way to bulk up my recipe. So I'm excited to give this one a try. The ingredients are very nice and simple. Usually these ones are all ingredients that I would use to make this type of dish anyway, so nothing surprising, which is what I like. I'm gonna go ahead and get on to my next bag, which has a little bit more of frozen items from the frozen section and some items that I've never gotten before. So first thing is organic super sweet cut corn. Usually Usually I get the roasted corn and I like to add it to any of my chicken dishes or any type of Mexican cuisine. I wanted to try this one out as just a side dish. All right, next up I've got this broccoli and kale pizza crust. So I like to try all these different variations of pizza crust. I've tried the cauliflower one, which honestly is good if you can bake it right. What I did was I baked it on both sides so it really does become a crust and nice and crispy but i've heard people that try to bake it just on one side and then they add their toppings and it becomes mushy so you just have to make sure and bake the crust before you put on any toppings very nice and thoroughly so this one has broccoli corn flour black kale olive oil and a touch of salt so i've tried the cauliflower one i've tried the butternut squash one that they come out i think during the winter time so I'm excited to try this one out. All right, next up I've got some frozen mangoes. This is just regular frozen mango chunks that I like to add to my smoothies or my acai bowls, whatever it is. It's really hard to just get mangoes. In Costco's frozen section, it's always paired with like pineapples and strawberries. So I like to just get mangoes because it does have a different taste. I've got a small bag of bell peppers. I love to snack on this with hummus and I've got a new hummus that I wanna try. All right, a couple of staple items, just some tomatoes, love just snacking on this. And then some Persian cucumber, which are this, just those smaller cucumbers. All right, this is the hummus I was talking about, organic buffalo style hummus. So this intrigued me, it's a new item and I really do love like the buffalo style sauce on chicken chicken wings or anything like that. So I thought this would be really, really good. Next up, I've got another one of those refrigerated protein bars, and this is a dark chocolate chip peanut butter flavored with sea salt. So I had the last one and it was good. It's probably not my favorite protein bar. It's a little bit chalky, so, but it's not terrible. And I want to go through and try. There's about three different flavors. So I just wanted to try the other flavor and see if I like it any better. All right, and the last item is this vegan mozzarella cheese. So I like to not have dairy that often just because it doesn't settle too well with my stomach and my husband's stomach. Anything that I can find that's an alternative to dairy, I wanna give it a try. 
I've tried a couple of vegan cheeses and they haven't been the best, but I did some research and people were saying this one was pretty good. I don't like to buy shredded cheese because of all the added uh, ingredients that they usually add just to make sure that they don't clump up. But I wanted to give this a try, see if it's any good, especially with that kale pizza. So, and I'll see if I can fool my husband into thinking it's real cheese. If I can do that, then it's a definite win. So I'll let you guys know how this cheese is and if it's any good. All right, there you guys go. That is my very quick and small Trader Joe's haul. Some new items that I'm excited to try some staples that I always like having in my pantry or my fridge. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you guys have any ideas of where to go next, leave it in the comments. Otherwise, I will keep doing Trader Joe's and Costco hauls because it seems like you enjoy those. So if you guys love, love hauls, I'll leave a playlist of all the hauls I've ever done in the description box. Otherwise, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, live life tastefully balanced.